Good evening everyone, welcome back to the Midnight Miners channel. In tonight's episode, what we're going to go through is the new LHR unlock from T-Rex Miner. What we're going to do is, first of all I'm going to apologize for that loud noise because people apparently like to send me messages in the middle of this. So, what was I? Oh yeah, moving on. Anywho, what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the latest miner app. What we're going to do is we're going to type it in uh, Google search. I already did before, so if you type latest miner app, click on that. It will take you here. Second link, you will see it. Click on it. This is basically going to show you the latest miners and all that good stuff. Now, what we're going to go through this time and what we're going to focus on is this one right here, the multiple algorithm. So this is the one that we want, T-Rex Miner 0 0.24.0. We're going to click download on this one. It's going to bring you bring us over here. Now, this is where we can read through all this or if you're just like me, you're just going to try to figure it out as you go. I know all these things are instructions, I just can't be bothered at the moment. Now, the one thing that you want to download if you're using it for Windows is this one right here. It says T-Rex 0.24.0-win.zip. You know, click on that and download it. Now, this is going to yell at us because, of course, you know, it's not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous right windows sure we're gonna click on that and we're gonna press keep because we want this one once we do that wherever it saved it in my case not in here let me see where it is it's right here there we go we're getting there all right so i already messed with this a little bit but once we uh, have it downloaded this is how it's going to look. We're going to right click on it and we're going to click extract here and it's just going to extract all these things. Now, what I was more interested in was Ethereum and Raven. So this is what is, you're going, you're already going to have it for the dual algorithms. It's already going to be in here. What we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to do edit. If you open it, this is how it's going to look. Now, you're going to have to change a couple of things in here in order to mine to the pool that you want and the wallet that is yours, basically. Don't mine to somebody else's wallet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I already have one done. I actually already did mine. So, what we're going to do is we're, let's edit this one too. And what I'm going to try to do is put these over here together so you can see the changes. Now, this one on the top over here, it is the one that I already edited, right? So, what I had to change here, I ha I'm actually mining Ethereum to Ethermine. So, I had to change the Stratum port over here, which is um, us1.ethermine.org. And the port number is 4444 for mine. Like I said, you put the stuff that you need to put in to the pool that you're mining till. Second thing that we're going to have to change is we're going to have to put in our Ethereum wallet address. This is mine. Make sure you change this. All right. The third thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the stratum for Raven. And this is where I'm mining Raven 2. I'm mining the two miners. So I just um, hopped on to two miners and grabbed this from them. We're going to change this. And then for Raven, we're going to have to put in our wallet address for Ravencoin. Once you have this in, you can change your rig to whatever you want. I leave it the way it was because it doesn't really bother me, honestly. So, once you have that done, what you can do is save, you, you click on file, then you click save as, and you can see as I, I did this here, and all I had to do is add a dash to miner, that way I know what pool it is to, 
and then um, what you're gonna have to do with this one at the end you're gonna have to put uh, to, to do this you have to put dot B a T and then for save as type you put all files and then you click save I'm not going to do it again because I already did it actually I can do it, it doesn't matter yes I'll replace it whatever it's all the same thing anyway so once we save that we can close all this stuff out and we can jump back up to these guys now let's click on um, on this actually let's read about it for a little bit it says available combinations along with memory requirements for right now uh, you have ETH plus ergo 8 gigabytes plus on your GPU uh, you have Ethereum plus Raven 8 gigabytes plus on Linux and 10 gigabytes plus on Windows so since I have a 3060 it's got 12 gigabytes which should be okay my 3060 Ti I cannot do it on Windows and then um, you have the other ones but it says here LHR unlock dual mining mode you can now mine Ethereum 30% of full speed so you're gonna be able to mine um, other coins at 70% at the same time with LHR cards using their full potential so let's not get this confused with oh we're going to be mining ethereum at 100 percent no block on this card anymore and we're going to be good it's not the case you can use 100 percent of the gpu but you're going to have to split it with two algorithms unfortunately ethereum is only going to be at 30 percent out of that 100 percent so keep that in mind but enough of this so let's click on this github link and in here it will actually tell us the commands that we need to do what we need to change and how we need to do it for each algorithm I believe we have ethereum and ergo not interested in that not doing it I want ethereum and raven so now you're gonna see how this is spread out you have the 3080 ti's and the 3060 now I have a 3060 so what's gonna happen is I'm going to mine Ethereum with 14.8 mega hash and Ravencoin at 13.9 mega hash at the same time these are the settings right here that we're going to use in MSI afterburner in Windows so we're gonna set the power limit to 60 percent the memory we're gonna do at plus 1300 and the core we're gonna leave at zero it will actually tell you over here what you're gonna get on the card that you have with you know and some overclock settings basic ones I'd say and you can mess with them a little bit but if you can improve that's fine leave a comment down below that way we can use it you know I'll give you credit though I will do that anywho so if you go to the option 2 standard LHR unlock you can read this through um, it will give you all the little commands and everything else. Alright, so in my case, what I did is I just changed the file with my info in there. And then I went ahead and applied these overclocks in uh, MSI Afterburners. Okay, so we're going to come over here. This is the one that we actually edited. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this little guy over here. And we're going to let it do its thing now I'm gonna open MSI afterburner as you can see I already have these overclocks and power limit at 60 core clock 0 memory clock at plus 1300 I have my fan set at 82 so we're gonna wait for this thing um, to build up let's see what we're getting with it I keep in mind we're gonna get a little lower hash rates on it because of you know I'm still recording on this computer all right, I find it really hard to try to keep this still. So, the highest hash rate that I got with this miner right now, I got 14 mega hash on Ethereum and I got 12 and a half mega mega hash on Ravencoin. It's still not bad considering that it's actually mining two coins at the same time. Now, 
if this is something that you want to do go ahead um, follow the instructions I'll leave a link down below for the latest minor app you guys can go over there you can go to T-Rex and you see well, for yourself you can read all the instructions and you can do it if you want you can follow the instructions that I have uh, you know in this video or you can just do it yourself whichever way you want to do it either way I just wanted to get you guys uh, something about this um, this is what I'm doing at the moment I'm actually excited about the way this works and um, hopefully soon enough somebody's going to unlock these cards and find a way to remove the limiter off these cards and we can actually mine let's say Ethereum at 100% that'd be awesome but I know somebody's going to come up with that solution soon. That's everything for right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, guys, I will see you on the next one. Take care.